Hi, this is Steve. Uh, some of you may know me uh, better as Hall Staff, uh, which is what I go by on uh, Haunt Forum and Servo Cities Forum and some of the other forums. Uh, I wanted to introduce you to our newest project. Uh, this new robot that I'm putting together goes by Jarvis. And for those of you, again, that follow me, you may understand that uh, reference, may be able to figure it out. If you do figure it out, put it down in the comments. I'd be anxious to see who, get, who can get that figured out. Uh, Jarvis is a creation that I've been working on for quite a while. I started uh, getting interested in putting the props together uh, and using radio transmitters, much like you use in a radio-controlled airplane, and using that to be able to inter have my props and my characters interact directly with my people that come to visit my haunt. So uh, we started working with that last year. We put together Parker Bot, uh, uh, spy Remote Controlled Spider. I'll put a link to that video you can get down in the comments. You can go check him out. And Jarvis is just many, many steps above that. Uh, he's made possible because Servo City has come out with a new platform that the Agent 360 that has made this all possible, a super strong platform, able to carry all the weight and be able to operate at the speeds that I wanted. And uh, so that's what the basis of the project was. I did take their design. Uh, they had all three of their wheels on each side in a line. Uh, I wanted to add a little bit something to it. So I want, like that triangular design that we've seen in some uh, previous robots. Uh, you've seen Johnny Five, I've really liked that. So uh, by adding a custom belt, I was able to put that uh, new design in and add a little bit more character to him, I think. So uh, he's gonna stand about three feet tall when he's all done. He's about a foot, foot and a half wide. So we can run him up and down the aisles. Uh, he will be traveling with me. Uh, as I go on the road to do some of my speaking engagements and allow me to demonstrate and showcase some of the, the products that I use when I'm building my characters and, and how I make those, all those mechanisms and how they work. So Jarvis, when he's all completed, is going to have 16 servos or more, maybe. Uh, but currently we've got 16 uh, servos uh, on schedule. He's got four in each of his arms to add the, and give him the ability to move those arms and his gripper hands. He also has a GoPro uh, mounted on him on a pan and tilt system, which uses a couple more servos so that I can follow along on my phone and be able to see what he sees when he's working down off the queue line or down the hall in, in a seminar. Uh, I'll be able to see exactly what he's seeing. He'll also have uh, four servos in his head. Uh, we'll be using one of the new Banshee boards uh, that Steve Bjork is putting together to allow him to have some random movement in his head and also give me the ability to use a wireless mic to be able to control his jaw when he's out, uh, again, down the hall from me. So. Uh, we are going to make some more adjustments to him. Uh, he has a head on him now, you'll see, but it is not the head he's going to have when we're all done. We've decided to actually go in another direction. Uh, so even though they've put quite a bit of work or some work into this already, we're going to scrap this design and go in another direction. But you're going to have to tune into the next video to see what that is. So this is just the mechanical portions. We've got a few other surprises that I'm still working on that uh, will be added on again. Follow, follow along with the build and you'll be able to see what those are. And of course, like any of the projects we work with, uh, no matter how much we think we've got them done, something always gets added to them as we go along. So uh, in order to operate all these servos and GoPros and cameras or the speakers, of course, we needed a lot of battery power. Uh, he will be having at least four batteries on board, uh, two 10,000 milliamp uh, six volt batteries and two tw big 12 volt batteries uh, that everything will be running on and allow him to uh, have a suitable charge to work the audience for us through a night. And uh, so if you want to follow along with the build, again, we have a thread out on Haunt Forum. I'll put a link with that down below. Uh, all the products or all the pieces that I use, most of these come from Servo City. So I uh, shout out to them great products here that allow this all to come to be. And again, I'll put a link to their site uh, in the comments. And uh, you can follow along with the build on the, on the form thread. 
Uh, if you would, uh, if you've got comments, ideas, how, things that we can do to make him better, uh, we certainly are, would love to hear those. So please add those uh, again, either on the forum thread or down in the comments below. So uh, again, thank you very much for watching. Tune in for updates as we continue along with this build. Thank you very much. Build on.